Well, I haven't posted in a while. Today is Monday, August 30th. 82 degrees out. We had a big storm come through last night. And two nights prior to that, we had another big storm come through. So we're in a little drying spell, so to speak. Lows tonight are supposed to be in the mid-60s with a high tomorrow in the low 70s. So that'll be a break. But Angel, I thought we would head out to the park and get a little walk in before the next front hits us. It may or may not. We may catch just the edge of it and get a little bit, but last night it did knock out power. So luckily the generator kicked on and two minutes later we had power back. So it wasn't a big deal other than having to reset the clocks. So, and we didn't do much today. Went out to Walmart to get two things and ended up getting a grocery basket, three quarters full of things. But that's usually the norm. So for those of you who didn't know, my mother passed away on the 25th. So we've been dealing with the aftermath of that. It still hasn't really sunk in and I'm not sure that it will because we didn't live here for 35 years. So it's not like I saw her on a regular basis, but I'm sure at some point it will. It's just some of the people, like the place that she lived at, that's only a quarter filled, wanted her out in her apartment cleared in five days or they're gonna charge another month's rent for a person that doesn't even live there and for a space that they're not even renting out. Because when we talked to the maintenance worker, he said that the assisted living is actually getting grant money not to rent out places to the elderly. So that and some of the insurance companies or annuity companies were giving us a hard time on cashing out the annuities or splitting them up. Some were great. I mean, she had six of them, but wasn't a lot in them, but you definitely don't want the insurance company or the annuity company to keep them. I mean, one of the policies was 61 years old and it would be my grandmother opened it with a thousand dollars and 61 years later it's worth 3000 but those were the type of accounts she had, so. So now we're just out here walking, seeing how many ticks I can get on me. Because they seem to avoid Angel and attach themselves to my not so hairy legs. I mean, compared to hers. But we'll pan the park for you real quick. And then we always have, I call it lover's trail down here because it doesn't really go anywhere. It just goes back about 25 yards and they cut a circle and it comes back out. So I would say that's where the Johns go with their prostitutes, but I've also caught them down the trail too. So Anyway, that's it for today. Look, Angel's marking her spot again. We'll talk to you later. Bye.